Welcome back to Stuck Inside Gaming's playthrough of Alan Wake. And we are still en route to the kidnapper. The dark presence was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? Because this bodes well. The graveyard shift may cause cancer. Do not scare me. <laughs> Spooky. have been dug up for a while. Anything in there? Probably not. The place was dead. A ghost town. Had been for decades, maybe a century. Ah! Screw you, ghosts! No. No. Bad. Bad ghosts. Ghosts don't drive. Oh, I picked up quite a few of these. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. Yeah, he does seem a little more fixated on me than you'd think he should be. For Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow. Strong and sharp. She was his muse. Oh, so we're living out the aspects Some of, the of their lives? Some of the echoes of their former selves. But these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the dark presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here, all the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. How would that be proof? Things were never as simple in real life as in fiction. I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Something to fight. Something to lash out on. There wasn't. 
I was filled with doubt. I was nothing like the hero in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single-minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now, I was angry at myself, angry at Alice, angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan. That sounds like a personal problem. And of course it is. Great Peak Gorge. Originally founded in 1928, the Great Peak Gorge mining town was one of the permanent settlements the Bright Falls Mining Company built for its workers. The nearby graveyard is a testament to the dangers the miners faced on, the early, on a daily basis. Most of the men who lost their lives over the years here were buried here. A grim reminder to be careful to, for those who remain. Great Peak Gorge was abandoned almost overnight when the Bright Falls Mining Company closed its doors in 1970. Alright. So this wasn't closed for any particular reason of its own so much as coffee so much as just an extension of the volcanic disaster that claimed that one little house Them down. Here I at least have some cover. How powerful the physics object, it cannot stand against the almighty power of the static object. are going to attack me with now. <clears throat> oh, that's what. Oh, 
called it. The more I see of this, the more I think that bridge was bullshit. Talking. Zane writes about himself, his girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence, about growing scared of the lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things from my story. They ring true. They fit. Isn't that plagiarism? Stop that. The trees didn't do anything to you. Anything. Oh, well, what do you people want? The kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. Yeah, and from the sound of it, he wasn't the only one telling me to hurry up. That breath is not getting any more any less impatient. Okay, that was just flat out bullshit. Birds.
this. Without warning, the headache stabbed at my brain. Okay. And? Just a memory. I'm losing it. I gotta get out of here. And the real reason we came this way. Okay, I can excuse you being tired from running up an uneven, awkward cliff face. That one I can excuse you for. The rest of this game, no. Not so much. This chapter appears very, very long. Not dealing with it. God's green earth was I aiming. I was way off with that. Coffee! The real mystery is going to be what these thermoses are for. I get that Alan Wake himself has problems sleeping, but what are they for? I'd have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. This is way too stiff to be natural. Like, way too stiff.
Did I really just jump down to where I had just been? I don't think I did. That just leaves the question of what the hell the point of any of that was. What is the point of that green button over there? I don't see anything over there. Alan. Okay, so I'm supposed to go to the lookout, which means that going down here is probably... I'm not supposed to go down this way, but I want to go down this way. supposed to go so let's go up instead just to be sure and safe sorry this one's gonna be a little bit longer I really want to get to the end of this chapter because it feels like this particular episode was dragged out abysmally Now that might be in part my fault. For obvious reasons. But at the same time, what, what was the point of telling us to go to one place and, oh no, I'm having you meet me somewhere else. Ah, can't have you meet me where I where I said you'd meet me. Couldn't even call you within 12 hours to let you know that uh, the location had changed. No, I had to wait for...
conveniently, I was 100% fine. Stop breaking the trees! Okay, I take it back. You can break as many trees as you want. Just please don't kill me. Yeah, see what I mean by uh, drag dragged out? Really, I'm right here. What was the point of any of that? Like, I get the point of the birds, but just the collapsing the cable car? Was there really a point to that? Or was that just darkness being a dick because I still made it up here Oh good, from cable car to rickety bridge. This can't go wrong. What now? You might think I wouldn't, I'd be overjoyed for supplies, but the mystery of who's leaving them has me excruciatingly concerned. Is it me in the future? Is it somehow Barry? I don't know. I really want the answer.
falling properly into convenience. Yeah! Fuck that post. That post in particular. Yeah, let's get a look at our surroundings here. Coffee. Give me that coffee. Give me that coffee. I want the coffee. I need the coffee. Oh, what a coffee. Just all kinds of dumb. And you see why I'm concerned every time I get supplies. Yeah, I'm happy to be given stuff, but at that's not a reassuring feeling when you don't know who's giving it to you or why. And that why makes all the difference. Do not shrug off the shotgun. We can shrug off the pistol somewhat, but we do not shrug off the shotgun. Ow. I wouldn't leave you, baby. Cauldron Lake. I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. Why? Why can't it be a buoy? I was close now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. So allow me to dawdle for a few moments more. Uh, no! Get away! Sorry! Please! Lady! The 
And dead. Head first into the water, broke neck. Is the end of, I believe, the third chapter. All right. Well, I apologize for it being a longer episode than usual, but thank you so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying the game and the commentary. And as always, if we're stuck inside, we might as well game. See you next time. I was cut from a belly with a stain.